Here we will learn true facts about the seahorse. The seahorse is named so because it looks like it was made from the mold of a tiny horse, except they ran out of clay before they got to the important parts, like the parts that help you move. Mainly propelled by a small fin on its back, the seahorse is not the strongest of swimmers, more of an aggressive floating behavior. Imagine trying to propel yourself on a skateboard solely by waving a Denny's menu back and forth really fast. That is how a seahorse do. Much like the human ear and the seahorse looks good from a distance but kind of weird up close. Lacking both teeth and a stomach, the seahorse must eat constantly to make up for its poor digestive skills. Clinging on to whatever crap it finds on the ocean floor, the seahorse eats more than 3,000 brine shrimp a day. Which means that brine shrimp are really shitty at running away. The male seahorse is the only male in the animal kingdom to give birth to its young. Here's how it goes down. The female uses her ovipositor to deposit eggs into the male's egg pouch. To understand an ovipositor, imagine the business end of a chicken, if that chicken was shaped like a penis. The male then fertilizes these eggs by releasing sperm into the water around him. That's right, when you go swimming, you're swimming in seahorse When the babies are ready, they come out of his pouch in a way that resembles sneezing or vomiting. I didn't show this clip because, like many aspects of the miracle of life, it looks kind of gross unless you're taking part. Here is a quiz. Which of the following is false? The seahorse often sings when it's mating. The seahorse often mates under the soft light of a full moon. Or the seahorse gives its partner a hug every morning during pregnancy. If you said false to any of those, you're a cynical bastard when it comes to love, because the seahorse does all three. So you go out there and find your seahorse lover. And put your ovipositor, that part doesn't really apply. <laughs>